Christmas $2,000 drive shaft I've ever seen in my entire life. It don't even stay underneath the truck. I work in finance. Uh, I don't know why it's full of water. Stop by chance. No. Don't dab me, you're not my man. No. Don't at me, you're not my man. No. Mama said, don't buy it if you can, I buy it twice. Buy it twice. I cop out of tools and I don't pump fake with the price. With the price. Always on the grind, I put in work with all my might. I know that he got me, got me, got me, not my sight. This is literally insane. I filmed my last video yesterday at my shop and it was 50 degrees outside and halfway decent. Then today it's 19 degrees outside and we got about three, four inches of snow last night. And this is why Brandon does not want to be in Indiana because this thing was halfway clean yesterday. Now it is completely destroyed and probably gonna rust out, but I guess that's what I get for living in Indiana and having a shop here in Indiana. But that is definitely depressing. And I would say these cheap Amazon headlights need to go once again so we'll have to figure this out for the second time and that one's not full of water it's got moisture in it though covered in ice you guys seen this truck when i did it in florida how nice it was now we're in indiana and my shop floor is about to be covered there's one thing i need to do before texas and that is install these monotube shocks temporarily until i get the coilover conversion kit for it installed and that'll definitely change the whole look and the whole ride quality of my mega cab so for now, we'll throw on these upgraded shocks that my boys over at Rough Country sent me because I have these on the rear of my truck and they definitely made a huge difference over the ones that they sent with their kit originally. So I'm gonna get this thing up on the lift. I have to slide the rear of it over because I really couldn't turn in the shock. I'll throw these shocks on and it's miserable because I hate taking the shock towers off because they, they don't like coming out of the fender liners. And on a Dodge, you get the ABS module and all the brake lines in the way. And on the fourth gen, I don't even know what goes on inside the passenger side. I know there's no room for nothing, but we could definitely make room for twin turbos. I know <laughs> I can make room for twin turbos and I think it needs that. No, what am I, I lied to you guys. It already has twin turbos. I told you guys this, it makes like 1500 horsepower. So uh, I might have to remove that big turbo that sits right here. So I gotta get this turbo out of the way and then we can get the shocks off. <laughs> So now, Mega Cab goes back on our own weight. Damn it, it's a lot lower than it does on that lift. The shocks definitely look a lot better. I would say it should ride a lot better compared to the other ones that are on it that I've kind of put through some abuse. So out with the old slash new and with the better and the new. The Mega Cab is back outside and the the dually is not outside anymore. Does that mean I sold it? Or does that mean I'm finally caught up with my work on the little baby truck to where I can actually work on this one now? So this thing in the last video, I told you guys it's about almost done. I still gotta get the calipers painted. And this thing can now come up in the air after all the snow melts off of it because the shop floor is disgusting. I'm gonna design the front truss, put these coilover mounts onto this truck, get these shocks on there. Now I'll have to build new coilover mounts for this. It's no big deal. Time to see if this lift lifts it. Oh my God. Yeah, we should check this for sure. That's a, that's like a 400 pound cradle, a 200 pound drop box, 800 pounds in bumpers. This has the motor trans, the interior is apart, but in it. And it has very heavy control arms on it, along with a very, very heavy rear axle. So let's see what this lift Oh, 9,000 pounds. There's no way this thing weighs 9,000 pounds when it's not even done. I don't know, maybe it does. Maybe we're gonna find out when it decides to leave the chat off my lift. Don't mind the bumper. The bumper is kind of sagging down because I definitely did not push it in with a snow plow. It, it doesn't want to roll through snow. So we got a call about two hours ago that one of my buddies, I don't know if he's been on the channel yet. He has a uh, Mega Cab 5th Gen Nissan 26 inch, eight inch lift. Um, just got a G56 swapped. 
Got a pretty sweet truck. But I don't know if it's the hardest Mega Cab on the face of this earth or if it's the hardest Mega Cab to keep on the road. It's been gone for about eight months now, I think, and there's, there's a little dilemma with it. So we got the trailer hooked up behind us and we are in Warsaw, Indiana, about an hour and 45 minutes from the shop because we have to go save him. And let's see what exactly happened and why it happened. From what I've learned, it's not the shop's fault that built it. I don't see it being the shop's fault that built it. I think it's just a weak part in bolts because bolts do snap. And that's why I said it's probably the hardest mega cab to keep on this wonderful road. I mean, I know this mega cab rolls out, I think, for now, unless this is what curses it. And yeah, this mega cab has never met mega cab we're going to pick up so it will be the first time and i had called him up and i was like hey yo on the way home stop by the shop this thing downshifts it's like an airplane rolling down the road point four miles away from his location it's about to be right here somewhere. Hello, there it is. Oh my God, why is it so insanely massive? Uh, the flux like capacitor the, went out? No, not the flux capacitor, the adapter for the- Oh my God. For the transfer case, sheared the bolts off the back of the transmission. Oh. Since it's a G56 with no and, traction. And it's, dang, that thing snapped off. See, hopefully before LST we get this thing back on the road because it needs to be there. Okay, what are you doing? They don't even spin, do the fronts? No, they don't spin. They are 26s though. Oh. 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 No, break, break, break. Oh my God. We're right there too. Hold that brake. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, we're not ten horsepower. <laughs> got fifteen hundred on the trailer. That's a bad day, Gabe. Right, now we can see what happened. Um, I think you blew a translator. You know what's wrong with it? it ain't got no gas. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tea case in it. Second gen, second gen, probably fastest. Six four. That thing probably it needs a hood stack. What is he doing? <laughs> is it a diesel? This. Murder slam. Getting ready to go to the giveaway winner. Think about it. How much horsepower is one, two, three, four, five? All together. At least three. Three thousand horsepower? No, three. Oh, just three? At least. Does this mean we got a police escort back to my shop? We literally had a police escort coming in here. It was, Jesus. It was pretty dope. Now it's time that we find straps. I guess we have someone with straps, so we're good. Just give like your your reaction to your Lambo. Well, it's really cool while it lasted, but you know, these new Lamborghinis, they have a lot of hidden problems because they're brand new and nobody's really driven them yet with the G56 swaps and everything. You know, G56 Adore? The lamp, yeah, G56 Adore. So we just had to work out the problems real quick and uh, we did that and it cost way too much. And uh, it's it's back to square one after eight months. Yep, it's yes. still can't drive it. That thing gonna do a burnout? I hope so. Yeah, don't do that, we might need it for Texas. Boom! It's out. 
So I told Gabe, I said, hey, when the fifth gen's back, I'm taking it for a rip. And I guess today's my day, I get to take it for a rip. So, let me just pull the parking brake really quick. Get it going. Should be pretty easy. I'm gonna go spin it around town, I think. Take it down to the car wash, possibly. Take it for a drive. This is fun. New X, oh me right. New X, new X, new X, new X, new X, oh me right. I might spin it, I might spin it, I might hide. Oh. What, what's going on? Uh, it's called the Cummins. They always break. Transfer case is now not hanging. I got the drive shaft off of the transfer case. I also pulled the carnage off of the drive shaft because it decided somehow to snap the yoke. I have personally never seen that. I've heard about it, but this is what we're working with. This, which had to get overnighted, and then this. So one, two, three, four of them snapped off the side there, and two of them had snapped off the threads. We got the drive shaft all taken apart, ready for the new one to go in. That probably needs rebalanced. I get a tail shaft seal for it. Luckily, the T-case is still good. There's no marks on it from it hitting the ground. It just lowered down and this thing hit the ground, which honestly right there, you can see where it saved it. There's a little scuff mark on it, but a little scuff mark ain't gonna hurt. It'll buff out. Now we gotta figure out how to get these threads out of that T-case and go find some new studs to go on it. Then we can bolt the T-case back into it and hopefully he gets this thing down to Texas, but we have gotten it off the trailer. It's slow. It's slow. It's fucking slow. It's got the front drive shaft back in it. Ain't no way. You're working on your truck. I'm not, Thomas. There ain't no way. No, Thomas is not me. I just changed this to look for East Coast Drive Line, where we promise that your, your drive shafts will not break. I, I mean, it did hold up pretty good. It did kind of slap the floor at 80 mile an hour, and only this broke. You got a new one, though, so that's good. Yeah. Overnight, they made up. You don't have the first G56 the swap. I'll probably have the fifth. Fifth gen. Point, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's still not done. So it drove 13 hours, an hour and a half, and then it lasted um, an hour with well, the Well, that's because I'm cheap and I didn't do airbags yes. like I was supposed to because I'm poor. I figured $200,000 in one month to spend was enough. Yeah, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she came loose, Gabe. <laughs> it's kind of like we know what we're doing, Gabe. I don't. You don't know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're already in the wrong drawer. I was going to close this one. All right, Christmas, take that in the yellow hammer. Gabe doesn't work on his trucks. It says literally everybody as you're over here. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here, give me that thing. And the inside or the outside? Right here. Why does Gabe not work on his truck? Well, that's so then, when something breaks, he has somebody to blame. <laughs> yeah, because Gabe can't take the blame for anything. I can't take accountability for anything. How about this? You take accountability for this thing that got chopped off? What's that? <laughs> Something from your exhaust. Oh, that's for the uh, the burner that fell off. The burner? Yeah. Oh my god. Is that a fuel tank? Probably not. It's like a semi. <laughs> that's an air tank for the airbags I don't have. Yeah. A non-existent one. have used. <laughs> if you would have yeah, left this on fucking... and listened to Brandon when I said build the box for it. <laughs> well, it, I thought about yo, it. Yo, wouldn't it be in this predicament? Well, if more people subscribe to my OnlyFans, I'd be able to do a lot more. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gravy. Sweet baby Jesus. Gravy take your mama home. <laughs> gravy did take my mama home. I don't know. <laughs> and just like that, you we uh, have a fifth gen. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the second reveal of my fifth gen. This time, hopefully it lasts five seconds. Brand said. Where are your bolts for your axle? I said, in the axle. And he's like, well, they're not there. They weren't there when I had it. Open your eyes, Brandon.
Hey, it's better than when Gabe fucking smashed him to hit my truck with his truck and bet my axle. I have... Oh, Jesus. She slides in there very nice. She slides in there very nice. She's a little wet now. Can I spit on it? How long till it's laying like that on the side of the highway? Uh, <laughs> I'd rather have that than have <laughs> what happened. Happen. The sensor broke off the axle. That's okay, you don't need that. That's, that's... It's, it's just pedometer. Oh, okay. How long until the truck's sitting like that instead on the highway? Uh, yeah. We'll give it 37 seconds. Let's not even think about that happening. <laughs>